WhatsApp. What's up and welcome back. My name is Brett Martineau and this is Think Like Me or Don't. I'm talking kind of quietly because I think somebody's literally sleeping right there. So I gotta be a little quiet. In this edition of Think Like Me or Don't, I wanna take you a little bit further in the Task Warrior setup and show you some pretty cool things you can do. Now you may or may not have noticed, but the video that I put up about how to get Task Warrior to prioritize your task list, I actually shot and edited that entirely on my phone, which was pretty cool. There were some issues, some of the, the ND filter that I had on there was doing some weird vignetting stuff and the camera, something was weird with the camera where the file that was coming from the phone got overwritten by the file that was being recorded by the screen recorder that I had running on the phone. Anyway, whole weird thing, but it's kind of crazy what you can do. Pretty insane. Anyway, so in this video, I want to take you through some of the more advanced or fun setup things uh, that I had set up. You, again, you may have seen the video that I made a long time ago, I had all sorts of things, burn down charts, uh, time tracking, all that kind of stuff. So I wanna show you a little bit of how you can set that up uh, for yourself. Now, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have uh, TMUX, Task Warrior, obviously, so just make sure you've got those. All right, so once we got those two installed, what we're gonna do is actually configure our terminal window to show us all that information, like from that video that you saw before, all at once. We want it to show us our burn down chart of what our tasks are actually gonna be completed. We also want it to show us automatically what our most important tasks are at any given time, all while giving us the ability to actually manipulate those tasks at the same time. So if you've got Tmux installed, you just need to type in the Tmux command, which is Tmux. And that will open, it'll start Tmux on the particular terminal window. Now what we want to do is divide it in half, and then we want to divide the right side in half again. So we're going to hit Control B, and then Shift percent sign, which is going to divide it in half. And then we're going to hit Control B, and then Shift quote sign, which is going to divide that in half. Now Control B is how we sort of tell Tmux, okay, now we want to interact with this. So if I hit Control B and then up, it's going to move me up to the window above. If I Control B left, moves me to that window. So we're gonna to go to this top right window and we wanna tell it to automatically refresh with the top tasks. So by priority order, which tasks are the top three? The way we're gonna do that is with a command called while true. So we're gonna do while true colon or semicolon. I don't actually know which one that is. And then we're gonna say uh, do clear, which is gonna refresh the whole that whole window double ampersand task next, which gives us the tasks in priority order, but then we want to limit it to three. Semicolon, then we got to tell it how long to wait before it refreshes. So we'll say sleep two seconds because we want it to stay pretty updated. And then we're going to hit done. Right now you'll notice that's our top tasks. They're just sitting there right at the top. Now one thing we can do because we know that this window doesn't need to be that big is we're going to hit control B and hold it down and then hit the up arrow and that's going to shrink this whole window. Just like that. So now we just have our tasks right there at the top. Now control B and down. Remember control B and let go, that'll move you down. Control B and hold those and then you can modify that actual window. In this one here, we wanna tell it to show us our burn down chart, but we want it to update. So we're gonna do the same command that we did before. While true, semicolon, do clear and task burn down dot daily. Uh, then we're gonna tell it to sleep for three seconds and then done. Now this is going to give us our burn down chart based on the tasks that have been created over the last few days and then completed. You can see here I've got a bunch of tasks that have been created and only one that's been completed. But we're going to, I'll show you how this actually works. So now we've got on the right side 
the task list at the top and then our burndown chart. So we have a little bit of reporting. Now I've hit control B and go back to the left, I can actually interact with this. So if I hit task four and I tell it that it's done, now you can see it's going to update my task list. It brings the new tasks up. And also you can see on the, on the bottom side, the burndown chart has been updated as well. Anyway, I hope that made sense. I hope uh, you got something out of that. Hopefully this will help you in your task management setup. I am thoroughly convinced that Task Warrior is the best task management system on the planet. All it takes is a little bit of understanding of how the terminal works, which really isn't really that hard. You just need to put some time into it. And you can have exactly the workflow that you're looking for and exactly the task management you're looking for, and it's intelligent. So go set that up. There's gonna be more videos to come. I wanna talk about time tracking with Time Warrior. Uh, and how that integrates in with Task Warrior. I want to talk about syncing tasks beyond just your computer and onto different devices. And then most importantly, I want to show you how you can set this up on your phone. It's pretty dope. This has been Think Like Me or Don't. My name is Brett Martineau. We will see you in the next video. Peace.